What's going on guys? It's me Jiggly and I'm back with another mod block spotlight tutorial for you. And this one's on the phytogenic insulator from Thermal Expansion. Let's learn something. Alright guys, so I've got a completely whole kind of different style storage set up for you here. <laughs> I gotta show you first though uh, on this phytogenic insulator how we uh, craft this beauty. So let me show you the recipe real quick. <laughs> We're looking at aluminum gear, two dirts, a machine frame, two copper gears, and one redstone reception coil. And that will give you the phytogenic insulator. And just like it is insulator, like the soul for solar, it's pretty cool. It's a really awesome mod uh, block that Thermal Expansion has added. It literally allows us to create crops or garden without using dirt so hats off to them for this it was pretty sweet so like all thermal expansions let's go ahead and go over the user interface real quick it's got 20 RF per tick use 60,000 RF storage if it does start to drop it does automatically slow down because it wants to finish uh, the way it's programmed is it wants to finish whatever crops going so you want to always keep this full our information it infuses nutrients and light into plants using redstone flux not exactly organic farming <laughs> left slot can lock to only contain certain items uh, gloriously into I can't even say that word Jeez Louise there's the tutorial tab we have the augmentation standard 3 of course where it allows automatic out of the device redstone control and allowing you to configure the sides uh, disabled of course is how I always run it but you can of course if you want to shut it down you can do that uh, the configuration, I've got it done a little different. You get two different inputs, you know, first and secondary, primary, or primary input for a certain slot, purple and green. And the reason I have that there uh, is so that I can drop my crops and stuff in the chest and it goes where I want it to go. And then we have an output, which we're going to put everything in the storage chest here. And you're going to need water and you're going to need power on the side. And right here you can unlock the fertilizer spot and lock it. So this, this block uses two different items that I'll go over. And first I got an aqueous accumulator down there that's piping water up into the, and then I've got power running to it creatively. And yeah, that's just the other block. So I got two chests up here so I can feed in the crops and the fertilizer. And then your output is over here. So as you can see, we've already got nine carrots in there. All right. So our green is our fertilizer. There's two different types. There's phytogrow and rich phytogrow. Now rich improves your yield for your crop and phyto is your basic. It'll give you, you know, three for a carrot. Um, it gets detailed. I'll have a link in the wiki down below where you can go and see all this information. So I'm going to go ahead and put our crops in there. And then right here, you can see it's loading them and it's going to load them completely. Uh, and then this is what it looks like. All purdy and looking. Uh, it, it does like the yellow graphic. Um, and then right here is my output chest. And so you're going to see three carrots come out right there. So it looks like two, I know. But look right here, we're at nine. It's going to give us three carrots. Now you can do this with most all your crops. Uh, again, the, the link for the wiki will be in the description below where you can check out the detailed specifics of what you can grow in it. And then as you can see, there's 12 now. So there was three that came out of that. And there's another three, and now it's going. I mean, it's not the fastest by any means, but uh, it's pretty impressive. Like You can literally just tidy up your gardening. And if you were to run this in an endless loop to replace like the hopper with carrots so that you keep this full and then excess, you know, ship the excess amount back into a chest, you would have an endless cycle. The toughest part is getting the uh, phyto grow. So, but uh, I won't go into how you craft the phyto grow right now. It's in the NEI with the uh, particular mod pack. I'm still using Quickly Craft for this tutorials. Uh, that that mod pack is in the Technic launcher as well. It's quite. It's got a lot of stuff to do. So, and um, if you haven't gotten a chance to check out other mods on my channel, I got multiple mod tutorials going. I hope you've learned something from this. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, guys, be sure to share it with your friends and family and all your other fellow Minecraft players. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay tuned for more videos. Take care.